In today's video, I'm going to show you how to set up Destroy All Humans 2 Reprobed for dual monitors on the PC. The game was recently remastered, and it included some improvements to the split screen co op mode, such as each player can go as far as they like from each other without being tethered together. But the mode isn't without its flaws. For instance, the split screen does not utilize the entire monitor, instead, the developers have chosen to display objectives and the minimap at the side of the screen. The reason for this is unknown, but it might be because they wished to maintain a certain aspect ratio, similar to what was done with Resident Evil 5. The problem with this is that spanning the window across two monitors creates an issue when trying to create a screen for each player. Before going into detail on how to set this up, I will firstly tell you that this workaround is by no means perfect. Firstly, you will lose visibility of the on-screen objectives and minimap. Secondly, using the in-game menu becomes problematic because you can't really see what you're doing. And finally, when you get in the saucer, well, look, it's a mess. Later in the video, I'll suggest some ways of which to alleviate these burdens. But for now, let's look at how to set this up. This tutorial is written assuming that you have two monitors that are 1920 by 1080. Essentially, this fix will work on any monitor size, but you will have to adjust some figures later on. It will also help if both of your monitors are of the same resolution. The first thing you're going to need to do is download windowed borderless gaming. I've left a link to download the app in the video description. Once you've downloaded it, open the app. You will see a new icon appear in your taskbar. For now, you can ignore it. Now we need to rearrange our displays. To do this, right click on your desktop and select Display Settings. In order for this fix to work, set the left display as your main display by pressing Make this my main display. Next, you will need to drag the second display underneath the first at roughly the halfway point so it looks like what I've set up here. You can adjust this later if you need to. Once you've done this, press apply. Hopefully, things don't get too confusing for you, but essentially, even though your monitors are side by side, it will now believe that one of them is below the other. With that done, the next thing you need to do is boot into the game, and from the options screen, select windowed mode. I would recommend going into a split screen game at this point, so that you can test the window size more easily. Once in game, we need to tell windowed borderless gaming to adjust the size of this window. To do this, press your windows key, and you should see your taskbar again. Right click on the icon in your taskbar for the app, then click add window. Click into the destroy all humans game, and you should notice the window resize or change slightly, but there is still more we need to do. Right click on the app again, and press Settings, then Game Settings. In this window, we need to type in the resolution that we'd like the game to run at. You can see here that I've put 3000 by 2160. If your displays are also 1080p, then you can use the values that I've entered. The first value, 3000, is more trial and error. You have to keep playing around with this one until you get the desired result. The second value, 2160, was found by timesing the height of my resolution by 2, so 1080 times 2 is 2160. Once you have typed these values in, press Apply. You should see the game window readjust again, but if it did not, you could right click the app again, press Add Window, click into the game again, and press F3 on your keyboard. This shortcut is something you may have to do a few times, so if it didn't work first time, just try it again. As I mentioned at the start of this video, this workaround causes a few problems. You can still see your wanted level, but you can't see the objectives or minimap. One workaround for this is to have a walkthrough open on your mobile phone and to keep that next to you so you know what you're doing on each level. Although, for some people, that's less than ideal. And what happens when you need to get into the flying saucer? Everything's so difficult to use. Well. The best way to fix this is to reset the window back to how it was before, on one screen again. 
The easiest way to do this is to press Alt and Enter at the same time on your keyboard. This changes the way that the borderless window appears. You should now see a bar appear at the top of the window. You can then drag this bar to the top of the screen, and it should snap the window back into one monitor at full screen. Now that the screen is back on one window, you can do whatever it is you needed to do, like check the objectives, check the map, fly the saucer, and so on. Once you're ready to go back to dual monitor, the easiest way I've found to do this is to press Alt and Tab at the same time to cycle through the windows you have open. If you select out of the game and then back into the game using Alt Tab, Borderless Windowed Gaming should set the windows back to dual monitor again. This is a process you will have to do each time you need to change from dual monitor to single monitor. This channel is still in its infancy, but you can help out by liking and commenting on this video. If you're feeling particularly thankful, you can also send a donation by following the link in the description. Please check out some of the other videos on the channel as well. Thank you for watching, and have a lovely day.